Hello everyone. Welcome to Ron's Alcohol Ink Painting Course. Alcohol Ink on Rock. And so well, here's our some examples of what we've done in the past. And then we'll get to how to do this. Okay, to get started, here's a list of supplies you'll need. Of course you'll need rocks. Second thing, you'll need some epoxy resin. Uh, Amazing Clearcast is probably the most popular version. It's available at Amazon or Hobby Lobby. You'll need some measuring cups to measure out the resin. Some acrylic paint some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. Uh, you could also use a straw, or in this case a little squeeze blower that helps move the alcohol around. And of course, alcohol ink, rubber gloves, and stir sticks. And what I found helpful is I took a 2x6, put a bunch of finish nails in it, and that holds the rocks up off the surface. So you don't want them to stick to any surface that you do the alcohol painting on. And speaking of that, here's the first and second step. Take your rocks and wash them off get rid of the dirt and then as you can tell in these rocks I put a base coat on there black red pink white turquoise and you let that dry and once it's dry then you're ready to put your epoxy resin on all right the first step other than washing off the rocks and putting the primer on it, the base coat, is to measure out your epoxy resin. In this case, we used two parts and they're equal by volume. And you try to measure them out in the cups as close as you can to equal volume. Once they're measured out, you pour them into a mixing cup. And you want to make sure you scrape off the sides, get as much in there and out of the cup as you possibly can. Do that with both cups, obviously. In this case, the one is thicker than the other. And usually the thick one goes on second. So you continue this, and then you start mixing once you get empty both these measuring cups. And this is kind of the tedious part, because you don't want to introduce a whole lot of air bubbles, and you have to mix slowly. And if you can see in there, you can see kind of the, it's cloudy and there's swirl marks. Well, you keep slowly mixing until the liquid turns clear and you have no swirl marks. And you kind of scrape the sides, making sure that all of it is mixed together. So, we'll let, while I mix, this usually takes. Uh, over five minutes. So, we'll see you when the mixing is done. Alright, so after thoroughly mixing, and you might have a lot of air bubbles, which in this case I happen to have, but there are several ways of applying it, your epoxy resin now, to the rock. Some people 
use their hands, their gloved hands, of course. But I prefer to use a chip brush, which is disposable. And so when you're through using it, you can just throw it away because they're real cheap. And at this point, too, if you've got bubbles in your resin, uh, don't worry about it too much because we've got a thin coat here. And we can either break those bubbles with our alcohol spray. And so it's not too much of a problem. Once the epoxy is on, you have a work time here of between 30 and 40 minutes. After that, the epoxy hardens up. Okay, let's try a different color. I'm going to try some purple. And you can see kind of how it spreads out. It makes a cool pattern. If you kind of want to dilute that a little bit, you can add some white. All right, so you can add some white, little spots here and there. That kind of dilutes things. I want to put a drop of black in there. And then you, one of the neat things is try to get some cells in there. So you can kind of give it a little spray of your alcohol. And that'll add cells to it. And then normally I would just leave it. If you like what you look, got. If you like the look of it, then you could just leave it and let it set up. In this case, I'm going to call that good enough. And I'm going to try black rock. I think, again, apply your epoxy resin. And since we got a black background, I might want to try some nice light colors. One of the interesting alcohol inks is the brass. It's kind of got a glittery look to it. You kind of drop it all over there. want add another color this time it's little spots of yellow and the key is now it's just I mean you're the artist add what colors work for you here's a little bit of Magenta. I can add a little bit of white if I get some color that works. And that, see, that kind of blends all those colors together. And if you like what you got, you can say okay. The other thing you could do is that's where we get to the straw and or the blower is you can kind of blow things around a little bit. You 
give it a little texture or designs. And it's all up to you how you just want to put it all together. Like here I'm thinking a little dot of brass again would be good. And then get it all there. Get a little bit of spray of alcohol ink, or alcohol ink, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And we end up with that design. And that was with the black background. Now I got one with a white background. Again, put your, there's a little bit of, of red in this white. I ended up using the same chip brush for both colors. So you put your epoxy resin on there. Problem with the chip brush is sometimes you get some of the little hairs of, from the brush in there. So you try to remove it. And then you go on to your next rock. Alcohol inks are available. Amazon again. And I'm sure Hobby Lobby has them. Do the patterns that you like. If you don't like it, you can just kind of keep adding ink. And you can look at that and go, well, that black's a little bit too dark. So you add a little bit of white. Gives you that different tones. And let's see. Let's do a red one. Again, brush on your epoxy resin. Again, work time is about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Good to have some paper towels handy to wipe the gunk off your hands. See that time I put a little orange on top and that really didn't make a difference. with a little blue. Put my favorite brass in there. Brass almost looks goldish. Sometimes these nozzles on the alcohol ink become clogged up. And so I apologize if it's taking a little longer to do things. And then we'll 
I'll spray it with alcohol. And you can go back to the other ones too if you think, well, maybe they need another little hit of alcohol. And so now that you got your rocks painted, the epoxy resin will set up pretty hard in 24 hours, but it still might be a little tacky. So just go and let it set up for 48 hours. And so that's your alcohol ink on rock instructions. Now if you do get some on your hands, uh, you can use your rubbing alcohol to clean up your hands because that will dissolve the epoxy. And also if it's alcohol ink, obviously it will dissolve that. So there you are. Alright, so I showed you earlier four rocks that I did. And I went and did four others. And this is kind of the end result, at least after half an hour. Now it's best to allow this to set up, and I think I mentioned this before, for 48 hours. And then you should have a glass-like finish. The other things you could do is embellish these rocks if you have a little glitter or anything of that nature that you want to put on top. That is also a possibility. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.